Hey everybody, Steve here in Hawthorne, New York, which is, oh, I don't know, I guess it's about a half hour northeast or east of Manhattan, downtown Manhattan. It's very late in the day, and I just asked someone what time the cemetery closed, because I don't want to get locked in a cemetery again, and he said 4.30, so I have just a few minutes to tell you a little bit about who, who I'm here to visit this afternoon. I drove all the way from California, and this is one of the grave sites that I really wanted to see on this road trip. Back in 1976, I lived in West Hollywood, California, and so did actor Sal Mineo. He was brutally murdered just a few blocks from where I lived, and I mean, needless to say, I was completely shocked. I was a huge fan of his, especially for his role in Rebel Without a Cause, co-starring with Natalie Wood and James Dean. So to learn, I didn't know that he was living there, so to learn that he just lived down the street from me and that he had been murdered right in his carport, the apartment buildings where I lived also had a carport that was very similar to his. It was just unbelievable. He was only 37 years old. And then when you think of how young James Dean died, and same thing with Natalie Wood, how, how young she died, I've been to both of their grave sites, and I really wanted to come and visit his as well. So I'm so happy to be here today. It's too bad it's such an ugly, gloomy afternoon, but I guess it sort of goes with the mood of the video. This wasn't a happy video. He didn't live a long, happy life. He, I mean, I think he lived a happy life, but it was a short one. He accomplished a lot and left a lot of really great moments on screen, but sadly, he didn't get to enjoy his success for very long. I didn't think the cemetery would be open this afternoon. I didn't really know what time I would get here. I was coming from another, I was actually coming from another gravesite on Long Island, and I didn't, I figured the cemetery would be closed by the time I got here, but it's open. His Finding Grave Memorial page does have a GPS, so if it's accurate, hopefully I can find it before the cemetery closes. It's been raining on and off all day today, so you can see the ground and his headstone is still a little wet. Minio was born on January 10th, 1939 in the Bronx, New York, which is not far from here. And as I mentioned, he died on February 12th, 1976 in West Hollywood, California at the young age of 37. During his relatively short career, he appeared in nearly 25 movies and more than 50 TV shows. He was nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award, and he was also nominated for two Academy Awards for Best Supporting Actor. The first for his role as Plato in the 1955 classic Rebel Without a Cause, and he was only 17 years old at the time, and he received his second Academy Award nomination in 1960 for his role in the film Exodus, also now a film classic. He didn't win the Oscar for that role, but he did win the Golden Globe Award. In addition to being an award-winning actor, he was also a singer and a director. He had a number of hit singles in the 1950s, including the million-selling gold record, Start Movin' in My Direction. On the night he was killed, he had been rehearsing a play called P.S. Your Cat is Dead in the nearby city of Westwood and had returned home to his apartment in West Hollywood. After parking his car in his open carport, he was attacked and stabbed in the heart by Lionel Ray Williams, a pizza delivery man with a long criminal record. At first, when investigators discovered that Minio was bisexual or gay, they immediately jumped to the conclusion that this must be a gay-related killing. And who could blame them since pretty much every gay character in a movie or TV show at the time almost always ended up murdered in the end. But eventually his killer was caught, and it turned out that he didn't even know who Sal Mineo was, and that it was just a robbery gone wrong. Or at least that was the official report. Many still believe that it was a hate crime or a crime of passion. Four years after the crime, in 1979, his killer was sentenced to 57 years in prison, but in 1990, after serving only 12 years in prison, he was paroled. And once again, as I've mentioned many times before, a slap on the wrist or a ridiculously short sentence is also very common when the victim is gay. And as you can see from the headstone, Sal Mineo is laid to rest here with his brother, Michael Mineo, who also died young. Michael died from a heart attack at the young age of 47. Their parents are also laid to rest here, and I just learned that they were coffin makers. Something else I've also discovered over the years is that unmarried gay people are often laid to rest with their parents. So it's nice to see Sal here with his parents and his brother. It's also nice to see that after all of these years, fans are still visiting, like me, and leaving trinkets and mementos and flowers. 
slight left onto New York 100 South. So for those of you who also like to travel and like to see where I stay sometimes, let's head over to the nearby hotel where I spent the night after visiting Salminio's gravesite. It's just four miles from the cemetery and it was a Sunday night and the neighborhood didn't really look all that great getting here. So I was expecting the rate for the night to be really low or at least very reasonable. When I discovered that it was going to be $140 for the night, I was pretty shocked to say the least. I could maybe understand it a little bit if it was a Friday or Saturday night, but not on a Sunday night. And the parking lot looked pretty empty, but it was getting pretty late and I didn't want to spend another hour or two trying to find a different hotel. It had been a pretty long and stressful day, so I just decided to go ahead and stay the night. It's located here in White Plains, New York, or Elmford, which is only about 25 miles from downtown Manhattan. So I guess that's why they can get away with these really high rates. On this road trip, I really never know exactly where I'm going to be at the end of the day, since I really never know for sure how long it's going to take me to get from one destination to the other, how much traffic there's going to be, and then once I get to the destination, I don't always know how long I'm going to stay. So sometimes I luck out with hotels, and sometimes I don't. This is definitely the smallest hotel room I've stayed in on this five-week road trip to the East Coast, but definitely not the worst hotel room I've stayed in. Not one of the best, but definitely not one of the worst. It was fine for the night, but almost anywhere else in the country, this probably would have been about $100 for the night. Have any of you stayed here, or have any of you visited Salminio's gravesite? If so, please share with us in the comments section. As always, thank you for joining me on this trip down memory lane. And until our next trip to the cemetery together, thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.